Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Crusader Kings II, the Byzantine Empire. And we are having a lot of trouble. We have a revolt that we are putting down, although we are putting it down quite handily. But we also have a host of mercenaries and adventurers coming after us, and our daughter is legal age and is an indulgent lastral. But, you know, such is the way of things. I guess at first we should finish putting down this civil war, and then from there we could focus on the adventurers coming to steal our throne. One thing at a time, I guess. We have two armies here, but luckily for us, three armies here, but luckily for us, they are all spread out. So defeating them should not be a problem for my great host of retinue. And we have another child. Excellent. Excellent. Good job, Basilissa Dr. Clinical. Keep them coming. Okay. And we captured Countess Adriadne. Beautiful. All of my enemies will suffer greatly. And you're not going to make it out, friends. Yes, you are. Wow, you guys are slow. What's going on? You're supposed to be led by an organizer. But you're not very organized. Come on, get him. This is ridiculous. You're supposed to be an organizer. You're supposed to increase our movement speed. Where are you going? You're going to Montreal? Okay, we'll join you. Oh crap, we have to run through you. Oh now you're now you're leaving, huh? You're going here. 13 November. 20 November. Good, we caught one of them at least. Truces are expiring. Like I care about that. Varangians are sieging. They're taking over here. Sicily's okay with me, I think. Yeah, he's cool. Alright. Wonderful. We have a bunch of little mini-armies running around, but nothing to worry about except for these guys. And we'll get to them soon enough. Duchess Zene, I think, is dead. Unless there's someone else named Zene. I'm sure there could be more than one. Catch him. Come on, catch him. Ah, you... 13 December. 8 December, okay. Sucks to be you, fellas. Okay. Where are you going? Karak. Well, well, we'll join you there. These guys seem to be just hanging out. 31 December. 30 December. Ah, sucks to be you guys. You're gonna die. Fifty-five percent war score. Wow. Seven thousand guys, huh? Hmm. Where does it tell how defended an area is? Like if it has barriers or something. Wow. Okay. Wow. Where did you guys even come from? Army of Grandmaster Philateros. But we're not Muslim. Aren't isn't Grandmaster Philateros the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre? Uh, military. Holy Orders. Yeah, what the hell? That's... You can't do that. You can't attack your, the Emperor. What? Or the Empress? What is going on? Well, either way... 
We have to stop them now while their morale is down. Or they just deserted. Now we're talking. Why are you guys against me? I have no idea what's going on right now. Quite a lot, though. We're winning here. We built our training ground. Well, that's nice. Alright, who are you guys attacking? You're at war with... I have no idea. What in the world? Okay. Can I see their land, please? Is that is that possible? There we go. Hostile towards Count Magistos of Amida and Count Cosmos of Negev. You're holer warring against Outra Jordan. Oh, I see now. I see now. No. No, friends. That is unacceptable. Okay, we're we're in serious trouble. There's just armies everywhere. And we're the biggest, of course, but there's just so many. Let her rot. 60% war score. They will accept a white piece. But it won't do me any good. I won't get to imprison or kill any of them. But it'll at least put things right for right now so I could deal with this holy war. Or at least it would stop the holy war. Fine. If I had only this to worry about, I could win it, but it's just, look, I mean, there's so many little, it's just annoying. Is there one big army that I could tell? All right, white piece. Okay. And I didn't lose any territory. I don't appear to have. All right, let's go up and join our Varangians. We have some money. Can we take on... What's his face? The host guy? I think it's your friend or whatever. When you're in your court. Where is that guy? How do I find the guy that's coming after me? Oh, Sicily, thank you for your service. You can disband. Are you mad at me at all? No. No, you're actually you're actually just fine. It's great. Alright. I need to figure out this guy who's coming after me. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm just trying to read all this here quickly to find out this guy. There's got to be a way. Okay. Come on. Nope. All right. This that so there's some guy coming after me with a large host, and I. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to assassinate them before they can put everything together, but I can't even find out who he is. So that's not good. It must be someone with a claim, right? Oh, this isn't gonna work. Oh boy, I could have sworn he had something to do with Lucania. Okay, are you worth anything? No. Oh yeah, you're that one guy. 
Well, at least our factions have been. Rapitia's got 21% of my troops, though. Wow, really? Just from... Oh, okay, because you're the dude of two counties, so you're pretty strong. You're the count. Man, my guys seem to be consolidating quite well. Rapitia, why are you a claim? Oh, he's the claimant. I see. Thessalonica. Yeah, we'll give you we'll get tangled for her. Get her out of here. She likes me a lot. Okay, I, I need to figure this out. This is troublesome. There's this guy coming after me, and I would like to assassinate him. That would be quite nice. It would make me very happy. But I don't know how to find him. You know what I should have done? I should have made him a character to be watched when I first found out about him. I'm not even sure what I can do. It's good that I'm pregnant, though. That's cool. Wow, 108 vassals. My court is pretty full of people. Who are all you people? Oh, my family, Tristan, Dr. Dalaman, Stefania. I don't even know. What do you do? You're an elusive shadow. You're pretty good, actually. You want to get married? I wonder why I couldn't see any of you people when I was looking for potential people for my my kids to marry. Alright, this is this is really bugging me. There's got to be a way to find this guy. I mean there has to be. He's not a faction. It's not listed as a threat, I guess. Goodness gracious. Alright, well. First of all, you, Count of Negev, you have a pretty high opinion of me. What? You revolted against me. Ah, spared after rebellion and crushed a major revolt. So really, I don't have to imprison any of these people. They're all pretty happy with me now. In fact, they're some of my most loyal followers because of this. Everybody's happy with me for crushing the revolt, and these guys are especially happy because I didn't murder all of them. Wow, she loves me. All right, fine. You will all be spared. I don't have time for this nonsense. Lucania, though, I've never liked you. Oh, wow. You like me a lot. Wrong government type, and you're a Catholic. What does that mean, wrong government type? Does that mean, is he a city? And not a, uh... What? Hey, it's Prince Louis the Great of Valois. Who is the son of the former Empress of Byzantium. Neat. But I still don't understand... Okay, county capital, I understand that. So what if I... imprison you... Oh, he's currently considering a ransom prisoner offer. Okay, let's let him do that. Do, 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 do. Well, how long do you have to consider? How valuable is she to you? Come on. Okay. Now. Back to business. If we imprison you... Can we name someone else? We imprison you... And you're rebelling. Ah, oh, well. It was bound to happen. Sicily? We need you again, buddy. Sorry. Calabria, meet him on the way. Meanwhile, what are my... Okay, you guys are... Yeah, you're meeting up with them. Good. Good, good, good. And still, that guy's coming toward me, and I have no way to stop him because this game is pissing me off. Dr. Clinical Aurelius is now known as the Great. Basilissa, Dr. Clinical the Great of the Byzantine Empire. Fantastic. That is great. Good for you. 
too bad Scholastica is an indulgent last troll. Ah, uh, we just we just don't get lucky. Alright, I'm just gonna wait for this guy to come after me and hopefully we'll be able to take him down. It's the best I could do. I the game will not allow me any other methodology for a son was born. To take the place of poor Yeknotimus who fell. Okay, this is Mikkel Brixen. I don't know if it's Mikkel or Michael. So, if you're still watching, uh, Mikkel Polson, will you please let me know how to pronounce that correctly? But for right now, Mikkel Brixen. Gosh, we're moving fast. We're almost at Iron Skull. All right, get together, folks. And how about some decent leaders? Juliana, of course. Oh, you're back! Oh, your rebellion didn't work, huh? And the army is fleeing, as it should. Come on. 200 guys, and they're putting up this much of a fight? Really? Oh! You're surrendering, okay. And you are in prison. Now that you're in prison, we're going to revoke your title. The Grand City of Lucania. No one will object. Countess of Lucania. Okay, but does that... Okay, it's still a grand city. So, the Baron of Castellanata, if I give them the city... Or even better, if I give a count from a county closer to me, this far away county, they'll be less likely to rebel because they'll, they won't have the negative penalty for being far away from me. That might be a good idea. Especially someone old. Who might not have an heir. Everybody has heirs. Or this 15-year-old kid. Countess Janicki. How are you doing? You're in good shape. You don't have any negatives. And your... Your heir is Leon, who's too young to really have anything. Alright, Janicki, it's your lucky day. You can have... The County of Lucania. And she's become the Countess of Lucania. Boom. Alright, so we brought it in the family. And hopefully she'll find some way to get control of the... I figured she would immediately get the castle because she's already a, a Baroness. But we'll, we'll let her figure that out. That's her problem to deal with. Now, Juliana, you are in Beirut, right? You, despite all I've done for you, rebelled against me. That makes me very sad. But you were spared. Why Why would you go against me? I mean, you're not... You're brave, gregarious, envious, you're lustful. You're not a rebellious person. There's your heir, who's not even your dynastic heir. What is he, your brother? Why isn't he your heir? Oh, I see, because your husband's dynasty. Oh, well, whatever. All right. Ah, here we go. She's made it her primary title. And she just loves the hell out of me. That's good. So I have solved the problem that has been a pain in my butt for a long time. And she revoked the barony. Yikes. Well, she knows how to do it. Count Eudokimos has made Ronan Canham Aurelius the steward. So now we have Ronan the second. And we have 10,000 troops when we combine our retinue with our Varangians. And we finally have some money. And we could have even more retinue? Are you kidding me? Nice. Of course, at this point, you might have too big of an army to move around. It might have a lot of um, attrition problems. 
Somebody's going over here with Bulgaria. Are we still at peace with them? Oh yeah, we're at peace with pretty much everybody. Let's look at the world. The Safarids are still pretty impressive. The Abbasids, not so much. With these 10,000 troops, we could take Baghdad, except I'm waiting for this guy to come after me, whom I can't stop for reasons that we've already discussed. Let's just move everybody back to my, my capital lands. Aw, they wouldn't let Ronan marry that girl. That's terrible. Unmarried heir. Yes, I know. She is betrothed. Oh, I get it. Betrothed can marry. Alright, let's do it. Yes. And there's another independence faction. They just can't leave well enough alone. Okay, next step. You are going to embrace the orthodoxy. Why are you not in my court if you're married to my daughter? Oh, you're just betrothed. Well, for God's sake, get married. Ivan of Mesembrian Peasant Revolt has declared Peasant Revolt for Mesembria. Oh, for God's sake. Where's Mesembria? Ah, at least it's not too far away. Okay, a lot of people are being released from prison. Alright, let's marry these two. No, people respect well. Well, I have plenty of prestige. Alright. Now, you. Are you in my court yet? And become orthodox. Thank you, son. Regrettably, I feel it will not be in my best interest to marry Cornell. They are married. With I this game. And we don't want to call the Earl of Ossory into our war, but thanks. We'll take out the revolt without our new guys. We'll let them build up. Okay. And we have a good little group leading it. Well, no, we don't. I want Yuliana. I want Robin. And Gorm. All right, this peasant revolt is not going to last very long, unfortunately for them. I may have to split my retinue up into two separate armies due to the size of them now in order to avoid. Okay, I'm going to try this another time. I think the pronunciation is Aoife. Aoife is the pronunciation. And she needs someone to raise her. And I just happen to have a spot. However, I have a son coming up. He's zero, though. So it's six years before I'll even need him. Bob is ten. Okay, so we'll be able to switch Bob and Nickel. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, Aoife. You will be educated by us. Alright. Wonderful. So long, peasants. No one wants Ronan Canem to marry them. What the hell? Okay. Now this guy's in prison. Oh, a lot of people are in prison. You're still not worth anything. You're worth 25 gold. Yeah, sure. I don't care about you anymore now that I've stolen everything from you. much for that guy. Alright. Fantastic. The Empire is strong. Now we're still waiting for this supposed coup d'etat coming for us. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but I would like to thank all of you for watching. And uh, we've managed to get through a lot of family members in the past two episodes, so that's great. Maybe in the comments you can let me know what I can do about this guy coming for me. And now that I have some money, maybe there's a way to find him out. Maybe there's a way to assassinate him to avoid having this problem. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.